Right, well we want a soil sample in our paddocks for, particularly for nematodes. So I've assembled a, a range of gear that you probably would use. This is probably the prime choice for us because it, it's a deep sample down to about 30 centimetres. We'll just use this stick to firstly put her into the soil and then uh, get the sample out of the tube. If you're a bit stuck, you might uh, might use something a bit shorter, but we would favour you getting a bit deeper into the soil. So this is not to 15, but if you can get 15 to 30, that's ideal. Uh, there is other types on the market, of course. A very narrow tube, but it does the job. It's getting down to 30 centimetres. If you're really serious, the research sort of stuff, a decent tube right down the soil profile is the way to go. However, if you've got none of this specialised gear, the shovel. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Every farmer's got one of these and uh, we'll show you how in the paddock shortly to take your samples. Soil samples for nematodes. A couple of important principles. We need to uh, get into the soil and this is just a topsoil sample here. So a little bit of, on the shovel down to about 15 centimetres. Then we go to another spot, not far away, just to get a, a representative of the, of the locality. Okay, and perhaps the third spot here. The soil's a bit wet at the moment, but that'll come up really nicely. One of the issues here with nematodes, and particularly this Pratolenchus, is that it's deep in the soil. So what I've done there is take a topsoil sample. The next step is to get down a bit deeper. I want to capture that subsoil sample. What can happen is when you're cultivating the soil, the nematodes are perhaps low in the topsoil and your deeper ones, deeper sample will reveal the true population that's there. So that's your topsoil sample. We need to label that. First of all a twist tie, just to seal it. You'll note just a plastic bag, strong plastic bag. That's kept the moisture in. Not a paper bag, paper bag will fall apart. A plastic bag, strong plastic bag. You'll need a label on it. We like to take uh, three samples through the paddock and we've called this one sample A. It's been three, three separate subsamples gone into that. And that's the topsoil, 0 to 15 centimetres. Let's go to those same spots and we'll get a little bit deeper down. This is where I started. I'll just scrape that away a little bit. I'm really getting now down into this subsoil. I mean 30 centimetres would be ideal but right down so you're getting a bit of this subsoil. That's the important bit. Into the plastic bag. Let's just go over here a bit further where I got the second one. We'll just scrape that soil away. A little bit of hard work to get into the subsoil, but this is where we best look for the nematodes, down in that subsoil area below the plough layer. And again, there's the third spot. Scrape away that topsoil where we got before, and we're down into this plough layer area. You really nest need about 500 grams, I suppose, but that's there is probably uh, that's a really good sample of the paddock. Right, well, that's uh, sample A. Now, in a paddock like this, we should be sampling perhaps here, but then right down the bottom and and right over the far side. So we've ended up with samples A, B, and C. We've collected our soil samples, a fertilizer bag or poly bags. 
pretty good way to pack them in there. Uh, just with a label around the top, paddock name, details, your name, just to identify it all. And uh, just tie the bag up. Okay, that's your sample. And uh, we need to keep this in a cool spot. Nematodes will uh, suffer if they just throw this in the back of the ute and leave it for a couple of days. So uh, it doesn't have to go in the fridge. It just needs to be in a cool spot and send it into the lab. Uh, we'll take it from there. A really important part of these collecting these soils is to document it all. We've got a, a, a sheet here entitled Test Your Farm for Nematodes. Gives you a description about what I've been doing there, but really importantly, there's information in here we'd like you to collect which details the property name, location, particularly the GPS reference if you can get it, nearest town, that sort of thing. A um, bit further down, the description of the samples, and really importantly, the cropping history of the paddock. If you can name the last 10 crops that have been in this paddock, the varieties, the yield, that sort of stuff, that's all great information that we can feed into a database and will benefit the whole industry. Uh, further on, fertiliser use, and uh, if you know chemical and physical characteristics of the soil, uh, the original vegetation type, how long you've been cropping, this sort of information. So I'd really encourage you to take the time, fill in these forms and send it back to us.